Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there is also a love of humanity. As to diseases, make a habit of two things to help, or at least, to do no harm. There are in fact two things, science and opinion, the former begets knowledge, the latter ignorance. Life is short, art long, opportunity fleeting, experience treacherous, judgment difficult. If you are in a bad mood go for a walk. If you are still in a bad mood go for another walk. Before you heal someone, ask him if he's willing to give up the things that make him sick. The natural healing force within each of us is the greatest force in getting well. It is far more important to know what person the disease has than what disease the person has. It's more important to know what sort of person has a disease than to know what sort of disease a person has. Healing is a matter of time, but it is sometimes also a matter of opportunity. The soul is the same in all living creatures, although the body of each is different. If you are in a bad mood, go for a walk. If you are still in a bad mood, go for another walk. And in this way truly you may see that it is not a god that injures the body, but disease. The art is long, life is short, opportunity fleeting, experiment dangerous, judgment difficult. There are, in effect, two things, to know and to believe one knows, to know is science, to believe one knows is ignorance. In whatever disease sleep is laborious, it is a deadly symptom, but if sleep does good, it is not deadly. Persons who have a painful affection in any part of the body, and are in a great measure sensible of the pain, are disordered in intellect. It is more important to know what sort of person has a disease than to know what sort of disease a person has. But if they called everything divine which they do not understand, why there would be no end of divine things.